okay hey guys what's up it's your girl pairs and imagination and i'm back in your screen with another video <laughs> the thing is uh no one asked for this video exactly but then i know you guys actually want to see this video i'm going to be doing a hostel room tour okay so first of all i'm going to tell you where i'm at i'm at um I'm at Tinek right now, which is um <coughs> I'm at Tinek right now, which is University of Nigeria Enugu campus. It's kind of like the Enugu campus part of UNN. People kind of confuse it, especially if they are not schooling in UNN. Okay, so first of all, UNN has three four campuses or something. The first one is UNN, the one in Nsoka. The second one is UNEC, which is the one I'm in right now, the one in Enugu in Enugu North. Uh, new layouts yeah and then there is another one at old sites it's called old sites or odnth and then the fourth one is to call zala i think there's another one somewhere but i don't think it's that popular so i'm at unique right now unique is for like medical students business students uh architecture law students and um you know just kind of the serious students <laughs> so um I'm a medical student, as you already know, if you've been watching my other videos. If not, just go back and watch them because they're interesting. Thank you. And I have to say something first before I do this room tour. This hostel does not apply to everywhere. That is why I started by telling you that UNN has different places, different hostels for different departments and probably even different levels. Because I was once in UNN and now I'm in UNEC. I'm still going to move to old site and then I'm finally going to move to UNTH, which is like the teaching hospital. So I'm going to move to like four universities in the course of this my study. That is, <laughs> that is how it's meant to be here. Okay, so it's more like I'm going to pass through all the hostels and then finally I'm just going to pick my best. But right now I'm in a better one, uh, not really better per se, but I'm in a better space, in a better corner. It's bigger. I'm going to show you guys. But then it's not like that for everybody. There's like corner A and there's corner B and there's you no. Know, every corner has its own letter. There's A, B, C. Most times, A is usually the best because it's the best, like A, you know. And then the least is usually like C, D, E, depending on the campus. We have uh, five female hostels and like two male hostels. This one is Lady Ibiam, the one I'm in right now. And people say it's the worst. Yeah, kind of. But mm, sometimes I prefer it because of the space and the arrangement is better to me because you have your own space i'm going to show you guys just just stay tuned stay tuned and um then there's ejuku and then there is manoa and then there is adelabo and then there's marere for the female hostels and then we have to, like, two male hostels even unn campus has two male hostels so yeah if you're trying to come to unn my advice for you as a guy is mm, i don't really know i don't really know if you want to stay in the hostel like some people don't like it some people actually rather stay in lodges they feel it's more comfortable for them but mm, i don't even know why i'm in the hostel Sha, but i'm just going to blame it more on my parents decision so i'll just have to stay here mm. and yeah it's very cheap it's like 15k or 20k Sha, for you still but then if you have to pay for lodges in UNN, it was like last two years when i was there it was like uh 70 50k for a lodge but yeah, you can't find a large 50k. You can't find a large 50k in Enugu campus. So let's just get right into the video. My hand is spinning me. Let me just show you guys around, which is what you've been waiting for. You don't want the talk, talk, talk. You've been waiting for me to show you around. So I'm going to show you around. So stay tuned. Too. So first of all, if you should start with the entrance, this is like how the overview of the hostel is. I'm at the other side. This side is the B wing. Um, at the A wing. Okay. So that's how it's graded and we have like four ranges like 400, 300, 200, 100 and then this is my own, this is how uh, it says this is where we keep the sleepers. This one is just to hold the door, nothing much. So there's like um, king racks, king racks, you know, where we keep our stuff and cook kind of. So this is the door, we have the rules and regulations. Have a copy of the rules, please. Don't 
know some believers is highly prohibited. And you know, blah blah blah. It's kind of mandatory to paste it on your door. If not, you pay, fine. So if you enter, uh, don't mind the messiness of the room. I'm kind of like the only person around right now. So um, if you enter inside, this is corner A. This is my corner, okay? This is it. The condition is not like so good, but it's better. This is my phone. I'm kind of waiting for the online class to start. I'm still going to do like a detailed tour around my corner. And this is like, this stuff is kind of in every hostel. I don't know about UNCH, but then this is in UNN and this is in UNEC. It's kind of like a bonus. Well, unless if the former occupant of your own corner removed it. And then this is my bed. Ah, coffee. I love mustache. Is what is written there. And yeah, I think under the bed is big enough to accommodate your buckets, but not your gallons. And that is why we keep them here. But none of this is mine. Everything is under my bed. Uh, so this is the corner A. I don't know. Sometimes hanging nets could be quite difficult. So this is just how I kept mine. And then, yeah, this is the overview of my corner from this person's stuff. Yeah, and then that table, it's only for corner A and corner B. In EBM, in other hostels, table is only for corner A. Then UNN is different. Like, like I said, I'm not going to compare it to UNN. I'm just going to compare UNEC hostels since I'm just in UNEC right now. Um, so this is, yeah, there are lots of nails on the stuff to hang things. But then I just decided to use the few here. And yeah, I'm still going to do the detailed stuff of my corner, like I said. So this is corner B. This is, you know, her corner. She's not around, so it's going to look a bit messy. Uh, yeah, this is just it. The corner B stuff, they painted it themselves because if you don't paint it, it's going to look like this. Mm, this is how a lot of hostels in Ibiam are. Mine is just a bit better because they painted it. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is the window. Yeah, this is where she keeps her own gallon and yeah, this is it. This is her fan. She copied mine though, in case you guys want to know. She bought mine because she was jealous. <laughs> okay, so this is her own locker. Now uh, the biggest locker is corner A and I'm going to show you why. This is just for corner B here. Up and down is for corner B. Then this one is for corner C. Just this one's with the white. And then yeah, you're allowed to get fridge. Uh, they're not really so comfortable with the fridge, but I think you're allowed. Uh, and then this is her own space. This is her beautiful bed sheet. I love this. Okay, this is where she keeps her stuff. Yeah, there is always like an extension or whatever plug. And then this is her mirror. <gasps> oh my God, naked. Okay, so um, this is corner E. E is up bunk. So if this is A, this is B. This is C, and then this is D, then this is E, okay? But these two people are not around, so nothing is on their bed. So I'm just going to show you, like, from a far distance. So she has this. Yeah, she doesn't have the other one. I think it was here when I first came in at that spot. But then I think the former occupant removed it. And uh, this is, like, the other bed, and then this is where they keep their stuff. They went home, so everything is just scattered. But then the thing is, this is their locker. They have the smallest locker. This is the locker for corner E or D, or you know, anyone that comes first can take anyone. Yeah, so they have like really small locker. It's just this small thing. It's very tiny and compressed. If you come out from here, you see outside, then my corner, and then this is like how the floor looks. Mm. It's quite clean for a 400 series stuff. I say in 400 series upstairs. It's just quite clean. I mean, there could be a floor I'll show you and then everything is just going to be like cheaped like this and probably dirty. It just depends on the maintenance of everyone that has stayed in the room before you. Yeah, and I forgot to say that uh, you don't get this hostel just like that. You have to check the portal. That is how, that is how UNN is for every campus. You have to keep on clicking on the portal. Yeah, and this is my table space. But let's start first with my locker. This is where I kept my shoes. This is where I kept my clothes. And then this is where I kept my school clothes, just here. And then my bags are here, here, here. And then this is another bag, and these are my clothes. I have a lot of clothes though. It's not like I wear all of them. And then this is another stack of clothes my tees my tees all these things are my tees and then my trousers and 
yeah this is my big this is the big stand for the wig i'm putting on now yep and then this is just i mean it's not really so good but then this is my favorite part here where i keep my food <laughs> so uh, i just have a lot of food stuffs inside that basket and then yeah this place so this place is where i keep all my stuff i just pack them all in it's like my hairbrush my cream my spray everything i really like this part of the locker i really like the fact that they put that you know everything doesn't have to show once you open your locker and then this place is like my other food stuff my milk and everything and then here are my my shoes again shoes 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 and shoes I just have a lot of shoes not like i wear them all the time so yeah this is uh the overview of my locker space yep I mean it depends on how you are doing this but then this is the biggest locker just this is like the locker for corner d and e and i just have it all to myself yeah so this is my table space and uh, this is where i just keep my stuff my stuff my stuff and this is my baby goods if you have not watched the unboxing of this just check my living in an all girls hostel video i'm going to put the link down in the description i hope i remember so these are my designs this is you know just a whole lot of books and medical equipment and uh jotters and outlines and just medical equipment yeah and that's my flax i used to get food from home and sometimes and you know this is it and then under here you have the option of keeping your box and everything before i forget this c corner downstairs 100 series is like more of a bunk not just a single person you know, it just varies like 100 series have poor condition than upstairs the higher your series the better your room something like that that's i mean like 400 and it's kind of clean and more conducive but then the cons of heart of staying in 400 series is the fact that you have to fetch water and bring it upstairs so i think 100 series people are benefiting more when it comes to fetching water it is very annoying Ding! so don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video in case you want to go to ENN, this video is for you because you need to know where you are moving into you need to know the condition of where you'll be staying if you want to stay in the hostel though or even if you don't want to stay just know how it looks in case you want to change your mind and yep the toilet the bathroom is just at the far end it's not really close to this place but then some hostels have their toilet and bathroom inside which is like a presidential in UNN and UNEC. There's presidential hostel in UNN and there's presidential hostel in UNEC. Oh, sorry, I forgot to say that earlier. There's another female hostel called presidential. So we have six. And yeah. Bye!